Hey guys, today I'm going to show you uh, the system that I use to uh, to guide down my antenna mast. I currently use the DX Commander Classic, which is a fiberglass uh, telescoping mast. Um, but this can be used to guide down, you know, anything that you need guiding down. So, but I'm using it in terms of the antenna, and I will show you at the end of the video how, um, in practice, how I actually do that. So here's the cord that I'm going to be using. I just have some paracord here that I'm using for demonstration purposes. Um, you probably, I mean, this would probably be fine. I don't know. You use your own discretion as to what you use, but this is just for demonstration purposes. And I currently have it anchored off, uh, off screen over there. And uh, that is going to be um, representative of the stake in the ground. Whatever you're using to actually stake it down, that side is the ground side, let's say just for, for demonstration purposes. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to tie a loop in your cord. <clears throat> and uh, the way, I'm going to show you two ways. But the first way is the one that I prefer, and it is the Alpine butterfly loop. It's pretty easy to tie, and I will show you that um, now. So you're going to go around your hand three times. One, two, three. And this is a good loop because you don't need access to the end of the cord. Actually, neither of these do you need access to the end of the cord. So I went around my hand three times, and uh, I'm going to number these just for illustration purposes. So one, two, three. Again, from left to right, one, two, three. And we're only going to be manipulating number two here. And the pattern is under, over, under. Probably sounds complicated, but once you do it a couple times, it is really not. And once you see it, I think you'll understand. So we're going to go two, under three. Okay, so I'm going to reach under three, grab two out. Okay, I'm trying to make this as clear as possible on camera, but it is tricky. And then we're going to go over 1 and 3. And then we're going to go under 1 and 3. So I'm going to lift up 1 and 3 and pull that loop back. Okay. And all that tangled mess, that's our knot. So I'm holding on to 2 this whole time. And I'm going to take the other two ends. And we're just going to use that to tighten everything up. Kind of dress it up, make it look pretty. Make sure it doesn't collapse on you. Capsize, they call it. I'm not going to tie it down too tight because I have to undo this. It is an easy knot to undo anyway, but there we go. Now we have a loop in our cord. And you see if I pull it tight, that's not going anywhere. And that's a benefit of this is that the size loop that you made will be, um, it, it won't get any smaller. The second knot that I'll show you will get smaller and larger if you needed to. To undo this knot, you just take these two butterfly wings here and you pull them apart from each other. And then I find it pretty easy just to pull the loop through. Again, when you actually do it in practice, this is it's very simple. Let me show you again. Three loops around, and we're only going to be manipulating two, number two. One, two, three, number two. Okay. Under three, over one and three, under one and three. That's it. Pull tight. Alpine blood of loop. Pretty easy. Fun not to tie, honestly. You can dress it up a little bit. It looks a little ratty right now, but there we go. That's your loop. Okay. Let's undo this one, and I'll show you the other one. The other one is a, a lot of people call it a slip knot. It's a simple noose is what it is. I'm not really here to get into the terminology. I don't feel like I'm an expert enough to get into the terminology of it. It is a noose. It is a simple noose is what it is. But uh, I've always called it a slip knot, and I'm pretty confident that's accurate. So for this, all you have to do is, well, let me go over one bit of rope terminology. This is called a bite. Okay, so if you just take, take some cord and touch it together, this resulting kind of half loop you have here is a bite. Okay, if, when you go to tie your shoes, for instance, you typically you take a bite, and then you wrap the other piece around, right? So this is the bite. Bite, 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 bite. All right, so just that bit of terminology out of the way. What you're going to do is you're going to make a loop. Okay, I just took the cord and I laid it on top of itself to make a loop. And on this, in this side, uh, or in this instance, I should say, I took the right hand and went like that to make a counterclockwise loop. The loop goes around that way from my perspective. And then I'm going to do is from the bottom, I'm going to take a bite. And I'm going to push it up through the bottom. And that is our knot. Very, very simple. This is the loop that you're going to use. So when you pull all this tight, 
that's your loop. Oops, let me make sure the camera can see it. <clears throat> there we go, that's your loop. You've probably tied this one before. Now the cool thing about this one is if you pull on one side, it gets smaller, and then you can pretty easily pull on the other side, and the loop gets very large. Okay, so if you want to strangle something, um, pass it through, and when you pull the slack out, it ties down. Okay, but it is also easy to just undo. In fact, so easy to undo when you pull the line all the way through, it just falls apart. I'll show you that again. Make a loop, and you, this is completely symmetric. You can do this in any way you want if you're if you want to go the other way with it. So I just made a loop like that. Took a bite, pass it through. This works just fine if you want to. And in both of these cases, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be passing the side of the rope that is going around, of our, around our antenna, whatever we're using to actually attach it to the antenna, we're using that and we're just passing it through this loop. So that, that is that. So let's pull this on, undone, and it just kind of pops. Oops, there we go. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm going to go around a chair that I have nearby because I'm super high tech. And there we go. Now you can see that this cable is, or the cord, I'm going to say cable cord, wire, I'm going to say all these interchangeably. <laughs> um, now this is tight. This is illustrating you going around your antenna or around whatever is you're actually attaching your antenna to. In the case of the DX Commander, there's like these uh, um, plates, these like these plastic plates. And that's what you're actually going to be using to attach to your antenna. But anyway, this is the ground. This is the antenna or whatever you're guying down. Tension on here. And here is the rest of your rope, the working end of your rope. So for this one, it's called a taut line hitch. <clears throat> and this one's kind of hard to keep in frame. I've tried, I've tried to film this once already and it's kind of hard to keep in frame, so please bear with me. But all you're gonna do is you're going to go around this wire three times in the same direction. Keep that in mind. So, you can go around once. Hold on messed up. <laughs> around once, around twice, and then on this third one, we're going to go around, see I'm running out of slack, we're going to go run around, but see this little hole, this little window I've made in my left hand? Before I go all the way around, we're going to poke this through that hole, that window, some people call it. I've made this really small, comically small, so I'll show you again. But anyway, you kind of snuggle this up. There we go. And then now what you're going to do is you're going to pull the antenna tight, tight to the ground. And you're just going to take this knot and you're going to slide it. And when you let go, it, it stays where you put it. If I wanted it tighter, I can pull. I'm pulling this way, pulling against the earth. Pull this way, take the knot, and slide it. Now it's even tighter. You can get a windstorm or whatever else and you find that your antenna is a little loose. Just pull it and slide it. And then you want to take it down, literally just take this knot and slide it the other way. And now I've got all the slack. Really easy to tie. I'll show you again. I think I didn't do a great job because I didn't uh, have enough excess cord here to really demonstrate. <coughs> Excuse me. So let me pull my chair a little closer and I'll show you. Okay. So again, I'm going to go around three times. Go around once. I'm going to go around twice. You can tighten that up a little bit if you want to. And then on this third one, I'm leaving this window. Going around, and I'm going on that side now. And you're going to go through that window. Pull these kind of opposite in directions. Pull against the earth. Antenna wire against the earth. Slide the knot. It went off frame. It went off frame because I pulled my chair closer, but it's it's right there. Let's go put this in action. All right. Audio didn't record last time. Let's try this again. So here is my antenna, the DX Commander Classic. There is a bird up there just going at it. Anyway, you probably can't hear. Um, and I have the guying system goes through this bottom spreader plate. 
hear what I'm pointing at. And then you can see it goes down to three tent stakes in the ground. So let's go take a look at one of the systems. I have all three of mine done the same way. <clears throat> so first thing you have is the actual stake itself. Goes into the ground, obviously. And I have some knots securing the cord to that. And then you're going to come up and you're going to tie the alpine butterfly hitch. Oh, I'm sorry, alpine butterfly loop. Or um, the simple noose or the slip knot or whatever you prefer. And that's this. That's the loop right here. Then this comes up the rest of the way. I'll trace it with my fingers. And it comes up through the spreader plate, at least on this system. Your mileage may vary a little bit, but on my system, that's how the actual cord, the guy wires rather, attach, uh, attach to the, the X commander. Then it comes back down. Let's pass that up real quick, because it's going to come down and it's going to come through this loop. And that's what's going to give you the mechanical advantage. This is your pulley system to pull the thing tight. So you go through the loop, and then you come back up. And then you tie your taut line hitch right here. And then that's it. The whole thing is nice and tight. If you want to tighten it, pull this cord down towards the earth. And then you pull the taut line hitch up towards the antenna. And that tightens it, which I can't do because I only have one hand right now. But if you want to loosen it, you just take the taut line hitch and you pull towards the earth. And now the whole thing is a lot looser if you need to make do some kind of maintenance on it or whatever. So I will leave you with my <laughs> my crooked antenna. I'll tighten it when the video is up. But there you go. That's how simple it is. And uh, this thing has, you know, withstood some pretty tough weather so far. And it's been just fine. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Take it easy, guys. Cheers.